Hello everyone and welcome to an all new episode type of content that I'm usually doing and in this episode we are going to be looking at this new tin that's just come out for the uh, you know the Pokemon Sword and Shield set um, and let's just get right into it. I don't usually do these card opening videos but I thought I'd give it a go so let's just do that. Uh, let's get straight into the tin. As you can all imagine we always struggle with the lovely wrapping. This is the Zacian tin. I wanted to get the Zanzenda tin as well, but unfortunately there weren't any in stock in Tesco, so unfortunately this single opening will have to do. And we can see all in its glory. Ow. There we have it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the trick is with these is to actually somehow get the card out without bending them. And this is, this is I really dislike this. Like, I really wish, uh, you know, that they'd finally go away from this but it's so hard not to bend the card in the process anyway um here's the promo card if uh, anyone wants it um and uh there there we have zashian v wow so i'm currently playing through um a uh the pokemon trading card game on game boy color as well on my youtube channel at this moment and wow 220 hp 230 attack for a move that is something you would not see in the original wizard of the coast now oopsie daisy oh that is a bad start as you can see here the uh centering is not perfect um and there's actually a kind of scratch just here i don't know if you can see it very well but other than that it's a nice card so let's put that to the side here and uh let's get into the uh rebel clash rebel clash Sword and Shield and Evolutions. Quite an interesting mix, actually. Um, I personally would have heard more Rebel Clash, but here we are. We get what we get, right? So let's start off with coin flip. Let's let's start off with a Rebel Clash. Why not? We've got two of those. Let's give it a go. Let's see what we got here. Let's move that out of the way. And. Uh, the trick is, is I always suck at opening these packs. I usually use my teeth, but that's probably not the most appealing thing for you guys to be watching. So let me open it a normal way. I did already reveal a card, naughty me. Now, here's the code for anyone who wants it. And I believe with these sets, it's three to the back. And I'll know if I'm right, because I'll see an energy card. Huzzah. Nope, I have missed, missed it up. So it's actually four to the back. Lightning energy, and for some reason it is upside down. There we are. Please bear with me. This is my first time doing this, and I hope you appreciate it. If you guys like this content more, um, I'm happy to do more openings in the future. Um, we'll give it a go. Uh, so anyway, thunder energy, indeedy, female, uh, charger bug, metapod, galarian Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime, dude. Mr. Mime is just so weird in Galarian form. I, I'm not sure I like it, but... Caterpie. Uh, Barboach. Aracuda. If I get this, this pronounce any of these wrong, someone please correct me. Oh, wow. That is shiny. Oop, did not mean to see that. Stuffle. A very cool looking Toxel Reverse. And a Sandaconda V. Wow. Centering is not perfect. You can see from the top and the bottom there, it's uh, not ideal. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, solid V card to pull on our first one. Uh, let's go into a Sword and Shield booster pack. If anyone's opened up uh, any of these uh, new Zashian and Zamazent tins, um, please let me know um, what you guys think of them. Um, are they good? Are they worth the money? Uh, I'm, I'm from England, uh, for those who don't know. Um, £18 for a tin. Seems a little much for four boosters. I personally prefer buying loose boosters, but that's just me. Now, here's the code. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything this time, boys. But you never know. So four to the front. There we have it. And we have a lightning energy. Again. Potion. Right on. Eldegross, Kufant has more health than a, than a stage two Pokemon of Eldegross. Nice, uh, Baltoy, Salandit, 
Galarian Ponyta. I really need to stop doing this, pulling out multiple cards. Mincino. Drapion Reverse. Very cool looking reverse. And last but not least. Like, what? Double Drapion? I've doubled up on this card. Seriously? Come on, man. Oh, that is a letdown. Alright. So we only have two cards, one good pull, and the guaranteed promo. So we're not doing too well at the moment, boys. Alright, let's go into the XY Evolutions pack. I always love these. Reminds me very much of base set once again. Uh, I'm sorry, I am the worst opening packs, gracefully. And here is the code. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get much, but there we go. We'll go four from the back. I believe it's four from the back. And it is a Dugong. Venusaur Spirit Link. Potion. Metapod. Tangela. Ponyta. Dolduo. Staryu. A seal. Reverse Nido King. That's actually worth quite a bit, actually. Well, th this is worth something. More than most reverses, anyway. And that was it. The the rare was Dugong, I guess. I guess I must have messed up the uh, the card trick on this one. Sorry about that, guys. So the rare would have been Dugong. Oh, we're not doing so well, are we? Anyway, let's just uh, sort these out a little bit. Just... Okay, there's the there's the bulk. And last but not least, the last Rebel Clash. Let's get some last pack of Magic Boys. Once again, really need to work on my strategy. And it looks like last pack of Magic did not pay off as we have the green, green card. Lovely. There's the code if anyone wants it. Ignore my little rage there. You can probably still work that out. And now let's go for a four from the back and it's a grass energy we upside down for some reason and we have the Galar mine Durant Electrode Toxel Galarian Mr. Mime again Snova Pidov Galarian Darumaka Full Heal Snorlax, my favourite Pokemon of all time. He's just there, chilling, eating his food. Not too bad, sad about that card. Even though it is the, well, the rare. So there we have it. That was a very, very disappointing pull. I'm not going to lie. Um, much rather spend my money on the Hidden Fates tins that are coming back. Um, honestly, um, not worth buying that tin, personally. Not the best of pulls. Sander Connor V is my only real good pull here. And even then that's not a good a good V card. So honestly, I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna give this tin a three out of ten. Not not worth not worth it. Just stick with Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates is so much better. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for some of you guys who are thinking about purchasing the uh, the Zarsian and Zamazenta tins. Um, I was a bit disappointed that there was only two Rebel Clash packs. I was hoping for four kind of let down by that evolution's craze has sort of already worn off and we've all sort of pulled what we want to pull so even if i did pull something good i wouldn't have been that excited because i have most of the evolution set already um but yeah that's it um make sure if you haven't if you like today's content like and subscribe and uh let me know what, what your thoughts are of today's video uh would you like more content like this in the future and uh peace out as always